Hey y'all, welcome into the channel. I hope everybody is having a good day. This is gonna be your Oracle messages for today. We're gonna to go ahead and start it off though with the astrology cast and numerology report, your song of the day. Then we'll tune and tap in. We'll come through with the intuitive messages and then we'll get into the Oracle, okay? If you're new to the channel, welcome in. If you are returning, welcome back, okay? All right, let's go ahead and get off into it. So let's start this thing off with our astrology report or astrology cast, okay? We have the sun and Sagittarius, all right? Shout out to Sagittarius. Happy birthday to my Sagittarius, okay? I'm a Sagittarius. I have a birthday coming up. Um, I'm a Sagittarius slash Lefucus, actually. So I have a birthday coming up. Yay! All right, hopefully I can celebrate a little bit of that time with you guys. Uh, we have the moon in Capricorn. We have Chiron in Aries retrograde at this time. We have Aries, excuse me, we have Mercury in Sagittarius, Venus in Capricorn, Mars in Scorpio, Jupiter in Aquarius, Saturn is in Aquarius, Uranus is retro in Taurus, Neptune is in Pisces, and we have Pluto in Capricorn. Okay. So let's see what the change is. Spirit is telling me, look at the change from last week. Something moved, what was it? We have the moon. The moon's position definitely uh, moved into Capricorn because we were in the moon of Scorpio all last week. So that's a huge change, okay? Moving into the energy of Capricorn, King and Queen of Pentacles energy, which I certainly picked up on in uh, the meditation. All right. So your numerology report is angel numbers 444 four, four. angel number 717 you guys look up those angel numbers you guys will get additional messages that will resonate with your current situation all right um your songs of the day you guys i came through with more than one so it's going to be these songs of the day all right and we have bad situations by more m-o-r-r-a-y we have black I'm sorry. Let me rewind. Mm -hmm. That was one. The other song is called Look At Me Now. Okay. Um, the other one is Only Wise God. And the last song is um, Hurricane. Okay. I will have all the songs posted in the description box below. All right. Uh, next, let's go ahead and tune and tap in. All beings of the greatest, highest white light, most high, holy angels, holy ancestors. Archangel Michael, thank you for your protection. Archangel Gabriel, thank you for your protection. Ancestors, thank you for being here. All right, what's the message? Let's tune and tap in and get, um, I'm sorry, let's go ahead and see. Let's start it off with the affirmation, okay? All beings of the greatest, highest white light, thank you so much for your presence. Be sure you guys to continue to have the attitude of gratitude. Give thanks for your ancestors and the work that they're doing on your behalf. Okay. Um, now, getting into the intuitive messages. The colors green and orange and gold are going to be of some significance to you at this time. Okay. Um, you could be wearing these colors or just drawn to these colors. All right. I actually have on orange today. I'm drawn to the color orange. I seen a friend of mine today. They were drawn to the color orange as well. Okay. Um, there's an emphasis on needing to hydrate, drink water, also to add some sort of citrus fruit. So it's going to be your lemon, your orange, tangerine, okay? Um, something citrusy, okay? Your lime, something like that you're needing to incorporate into your diet at this time. Maybe have you some lemon water, okay? Um, now, or add some lemon into your tea, something like that, all right? Okay, heavy emphasis on the B. B spirit, okay, honey bee, all right, honey, and moving into it. So, I'd like to tell you guys a story, okay. Tell you guys a story. Basically, it goes like this it's a story of a traveler, okay, of a warrior, all right. So, one day. You're, you're traveling. This warrior is traveling along, okay? Traveling to Egypt, okay? Heavy emphasis on the Anunnaki, all right? 
um, you're deciding to have a drink of the Nile along with Archangel Michael and Archangel Gabriel. Okay, Archangel Gabriel actually looks like a bull standing upright to me i don't know about y'all <laughs> i'm just saying okay uh heavy taurus energy right there i don't know i get that with archangel gabriel like yeah don't play with him okay um you are the pilot so you jump in your merkaba okay and off you go traveling doing some astral travel is what i pick up okay um when you arrive at this site okay um, you fill your flask or your jar or your glass jar or container with the River Nile water, okay? It's considered the holy water, all right? The holiest of places, the holiest of waters, all right? The holiest of rivers, okay? And you fill your flask up, okay? Now, you don't drink it right away. Matter of fact, the only thing you do with it is you just put it in your satchel, or your little purse, like your, your bag, okay? Um, your backpack, all right? Door, door vibes right there, okay? They're also drawing me to the hippopotamus off of Madagascar. I don't know why, but that's what I'm being drawn to. Um, if it was me and um, being drawn to that, I would look up the character of that said hippopotamus and figure out what her character was about okay since we're being drawn there sidebar okay back to the story so you're getting your your your, your you basically you're getting your batmobile okay and you're flying on and you're going to the river nile nile river in egypt okay in in, in asia i'm sorry in south africa okay africa okay and you 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 fill up your flask you put it in your backpack and then off you go again well as you're journeying okay you realize that you found that you are at this sacred space, okay? The sacred space, you're actually very familiar with it. You've been here before, all right? And when you get to this place, okay, um, you see, you sense, you smell, you take in the energy of this space and you realize this is your temple. This is the temple. This is your sacred garden. This is your private oasis. And you begin to meditate. And as you're meditating, you sense the presence of the Most High. And the Most High speaks blessings over your life. The Most High sees that your shoes are torn and worn. And he removes those shoes and replaces them with a pair of bronze shoes. I'm hearing glass slippers, all right? And in that moment, you know that there is absolutely nothing for you to worry about. Spirit has his hand placed upon you. And in that moment of sensing and being in the presence of the Most High, the Most High tells you this, go and tell my people, I stand at the door and I knock. And if they would just open their mind and their heart and let me in, I will enter. It's the energy of being in this sacred oasis, this sacred garden and taking communion with the Most High. Taking communion with Source Energy itself. In that moment, you decide to pull out your flask and you drink the water of the Nile that you stored from being at the river. When you do, you feel a sense of wholeness, a sense of connection, connectivity. You turn on in a sense. You know in that moment, you have just drank from the very tree that people are in search of. It's the tree of life. The tree of life is the river Nile. And it flows through everything. It's the very start of everything. It's source for all of Egypt. For all of life. It holds a very magical power, very magical essence. 
So, I know you'll open the door. The see, Spirit says if you do, he will open the door to the riches of the kingdom of heaven. The riches, the glory, the favor, the love, the abundance. Spirit is about to open the door because you did open the door. Spirit's on the other side meeting you at this time. Especially if you have drank from the Nile. It's giving me a lot of Empress energy. Okay? You're nurtured by this water. You are nurtured by this Nile river that you have drank from. So those are the intuitive messages. And they're to be broke down for received and applied as you see fit to your life. Your affirmation is gifted. Spirit is in a season of blessing those who have been obedient to him. There's reward coming, but you must remain open to this. Keep your heart space open. Don't shut yourself off from the divine. Go deeper in union, in relationship with the Most High. Whoever the Most High is to you. Spirit had a whole lot to say, but I'm going to take the ones that flipped over, which are courage and love. Spirit is asking you to have the courage to love. Fear not. Spirit is sending people your way. He's already started the process. Some of you guys have been contacted by certain friends, relatives, co-workers. They value your advice. They value your opinion. The sign of the dove. They feel your peace. The sign of the elephant. They feel your wisdom. They sense it. They're drawing nearer to you for guidance. Spirit is asking you to use the spirit of discernment. You see, the difference between intuition and discernment is that the spirit of intuition is what we are born with. Discernment is earned. Remember that. You have to have discernment. You have to have intuition, which we are born with, to be able to sense the fact that you need to use your discernment. We have a new beginning daffodil spirit there's a new beginning in love coming for you there's a new beginning in career and finance for a lot of us power of the dragon is here at the bottom of the deck the energy of joy is here okay I'm taking all of those. The energy of the power lets you know that you are safe, you are nurtured, you are provided for, okay? You can rest assured that you are under the covering hand of the Most High, under the protection of the Most High. You shall not be denied. You will be provided for. You shall not be denied happiness and joy and love. You will be provided for. Because why? As above, so below. And if you've been doing the internal work, which will reflect above first, then it will shine forth here in this reality. We have live out loud. You'll see. All right. Angel number 31 breaks down to a four. Fours are about stability, work, perseverance. Take refuge in source. Find safety in the relationship and the connection that you have with source energy. This energy, the connection that you have with source energy is the energy and connection that we have with all things. All things. We have angel number 10, angel number 22, and angel number 11 out here. It's a partnership with source. You're in a partnership with spirit. At this time, you're going to notice your connection to animals, people is heightened. You can, you can sense, you can hear them, you can feel them. You can, in essence, know what they are needing. 
okay? You sense what's missing. You sense what's needed. You have a heightened ability. We have innovation, new creation. There's newness here for you. Spirit has a new venture, a new plan, a new mold, a new guide. I'm hearing a new lesson, okay? There's new experiences that need to be embraced at this time. With hidden knowledge, Akashic records, silent understanding. This was me saying at this time, your awareness and your connection to everything because spirit is present in everything. Your connection to everything is gonna be enhanced at this time. Your abilities, your mobilities, there is advancement, there's enhancement here. I'm hearing renewal and strength. Leo energy, confidence, courage, fortitude. Have the attitude of gratitude. Give thanks for this joy, these rewards, these doors, these opportunities that are about to open up and come your way. Spirit is asking you to give thanks now. Act as if it's already occurred and be thankful for what it is that you have in this season. Ancestors, a message for the collective, what advice, guidance, One, I want you to know that the protection of your ancestors is definitely here. We have to take time out. You can rest assured on this, okay? They have your back. There's also the energy of a black box being removed. You no longer being tied down. Your enemies are having to pay. They're having to answer at this time for the detriment that was caused to you. The ill intentions that were put out, that were spoke out on you, over your life, over your family, over your career, over your finances, it's being returned to sender. And it's not even you that's returning it to sender because I feel like the collective that I'm speaking to at this time doesn't have the heart of vengefulness of vengeance is mine the, the collective that I'm speaking to does not have that attitude the collective that I'm speaking to has the energy of the most high will handle and fight all my battles let me focus on me let me focus on where I'm going let me focus on my destiny my purpose my future but hey I'm just saying spirit has your back with energy work in the background angel number 20 the partnership the power the partnership and power that you're in alignment with at this time it, it cannot be dominated over it cannot be ignored it will not be um, overthrown it will not be removed it will not be bound it will not be controlled okay you are a limitless free thinking being The love says divine source is the idea that no person, place, or thing is your salvation. Only love itself. Period. You stand alone. You take the road less traveled. You are the warrior. You are the, the traveler. Let me be open with courage. Let me be open to courageously take the steps that are shown. Spirit is guiding your path, illuminating the way down this new path for you that's open up. Wait for the unfoldment of this moment. If you have not seen it yet, confirmation with the noise in the background, or you don't, you're not sure yet, it's because the reveal hasn't happened yet. So wait on the reveal. We have beautitude of sacred rapture, angel number 29. Spirit is telling me to read that now as I'm talking about waiting on this reveal. 
Let your true self be seen. Search for the deeper spiritual purpose and opportunity for healing beneath conflict and suffering. If you have been in pain, this oracle brings a message of a joyful breakthrough. Your soul is growing stronger, more able to have faith and wisdom than in judgment or doubt. Commit to your spiritual path and know you are making progress even if things seem more difficult for a time know that any such difficulty is a part of your healing and that you will successfully move through it trust yourself mm. trust it stand on it know it ishtar's lion gate the portals and the paths and the doors and the opportunities and favor that are about to shine forth on you and your life are unbelievable. I'm hearing faith without works is dead. You have to put in work, collect. You have to be willing to take this time out, go within, find your inner power, find your inner voice. Love and nurture yourself. Be strong enough to know that you are kings and queens that rule on thrones above. So if that's the case above, why shouldn't you here in this 5, uh, 3D reality? Authority. You have spiritual authority. Angel number 10. The frequency of authority reminds us that true authority is powerful, directed, and realized, yet receptive, wise, and loving. Continue to continue to be patient. Continue to wait on the divine to show himself or herself in your life. Continue to focus on that positivity and that light in your life so that it will multiply, so that it will grow, so that the energy can continue to be transmuted. So you continue can continue to stand in power, in love. Queen of heaven here. Blessing from the divine empress of the skies is coming. Wait for the unfoldment of this. High priestess, intuitively you know this already. Mysteries revealed in the eyes of Isis. Spirit has already shown you what's coming. Spirit has already revealed it to you in the 5D. So you know that it's in the 5D. It's coming. It's coming. Soul retrieval, deep soul healing with the goddess. This is healing and this is abundance on the soul level. This is being whole. This is being connected. This is being aware. This is being alive. We have magic and ritual. Continue to focus on your meditations. Dance. Honor your ancestors. Light your incense, light your candles, clean your space, light your sage, purify, detox your life. Also, be sure to stay hydrated, take your spiritual baths, do your prayer walks. This is how you commune and get closer to spirit. This is how you stay aware in the spirit. So when spirit sends you signs and synchronicities, you can be able to catch them. You can be able to catch the guidance because it's heavy angelic guidance that you're going to be receiving at this time. Angel number 29 is out here, which breaks down to an 11. We have 11, 11. We have 22. We have 4. We have 20. We have 52, which breaks down to a 7. We have another 10 out here. There's heavy angelic guidance and support around you. Heavy protection energy around you. Okay? You, you can't be touched. <laughs> you can't be touched. So now use this time of power and strength and confidence and courage and newness. Okay? To do just this. Co-create with spirit. Angel number 17. Co-create with spirit. Spirit wants you to co-create with them. Spirit wants you wants to help you bring in the manifestations, your desires, your passions, your creations, your inventions, your infinite possibilities, open to infinite possibilities. Spirit wants you open. 
Spirit wants you open, I got to take this. Angel number 59 breaks down to a 14, which breaks down to a 5. So that means that in order to bring this in, it would miracle, endless miracles, the cow spirit. In order to bring this in, these endless miracles, there is some action required on your part. Okay? Nothing is wasted. Okay? Vulture spirit. Nothing is wasted. So what you need with that card is telling you that you're needing to take the lesson. Okay? You're needing to take the lesson. Leave the pain, the struggle. Sometimes you have to leave possessions. Some things have to be left behind because they hold energy of our past. And it's better left behind if you're trying to move forward. Sometimes that means losing finances. Sometimes you have to go down to come back up. Just, just check out your position, where you are at this time. If you're trying to move into a place of newness, make sure that your uh, actions are aligning with that said newness that you want to bring in for yourself. Open to infinite possibilities. The miracles are endless. Co-create with spirit. It's like the only person that could be in the way of any of this between you and spirit at this time is you. Purity. What does that say? Snow moon. Okay. You could be um, needing to... We have pleasure here. We're going to take that. We're going to take that purity and pleasure. Angel number 18. Another 10. Okay. There's something that you're needing. And the beginnings. Angel number 2. We're going to take all three of those. So there's definitely new beginnings. We have new beginnings out here three times. Beginnings, new beginnings, and new creations. There's something new coming in for you along the lines dealing and dealing with your spiritual gifts okay be open into how these may um unfold i'm hearing into how these may reveal themselves to you okay at this time be open to how that may come in all right this may be by way of a person this may be by way of a situation or an event just be open to seeing the bigger picture of what it is that spirit is trying to do okay spirit could be trying to bless you through someone else or awaken a, a gift that's been lying dormant but the only way to wait awaken this gift is for you to experience a certain a certain feeling a certain situation i'm hearing okay a certain experience all right be open to that all right at the end of the day it's going to empower you so don't shy away from new experiences, meeting new people, going to new places, trying new things, living and experiencing life. We have humanity. Step away from electronics. No cell phone, no video games, no nothing. Just be human. Spirit wants you to connect to nature. We get so tied up and so busy with just being busy. Okay, but see with the B spirit moving in at this time, we're going to be busy, but we're going to be busy in the spirit is where spirit wants our focus at this time with the focus being on the bottom of this deck. Okay, spirit wants us transforming what we focus on, what we think about. Okay, transforming our thoughts, transforming our minds, transforming our consciousness, our awareness. Okay, our insight. All right, our belief, our faith system. We have low vibes, things that lower your vibration, judgment, crisis. Uh, I'm sorry, criticism, worry, self-judgment, being unkind. Pay attention to what you are saying. Focus on the good things happening around you. Nobody is perfect. Be gentle with yourself and try staying, I'm sorry, saying it in a positive, hopeful way. Speaking life over yourself. Speaking life into others. We have flow. The more you resist the current of change, the harder the current pushes. If you hold on to the grass on the side of the river, not wanting to move, you will be battered by the strong current. If you float in the middle of the river, the current is gentle and you float easily downstream. Aim for the path of least resistance. Go with the flow. Okay? Man, that's so much confirmation with this reading, the way this is all tying together. This is beautiful energy. Okay, let's go ahead and close out the reading here. Let's tap into a few of these energies um, on the cards here. One moment. We definitely, with the soul retrieval, because I'm pushed for time, I want to be able to at least address the soul retrieval.
soul retrieval deep soul healing with the goddess isis healing goddess now offers you spiritual restoration and deep soul healing through the art of soul retrieval reclaiming pieces of you lost through trauma old and new soon will you will enjoy greater wellness energy as well as the opening of gifts and soul abilities you did not know you had okay confirmation that spirit is coming in to bring you some spiritual um, abundance here in the form of spiritual gifts advancement enhancement okay but you're needing to be open to how that's coming in all right so let me tap in if I can I'm just gonna read until the camera cuts off I guess so in the meantime thank you so much for tuning in to the channel I hope you have enjoyed the reading if you have be sure to like share comment and subscribe to the channel so the affirmation for innovation with new creations says I open my mind to pipe to the pipeline of ideas available to me now. I know I am capable of both initiative and follow through. And with 52 hidden, I am blessed with intuitive wisdom. I receive helpful insight from the Akashic records whenever I may need it, okay? All right, how much more we got? Okay, maybe one or two. One or two. Let's see what purity says. Angel number 10 up there. We have discernment. That's not it. <laughs> purity. Oh, well, I might not make it on camera with this one. Basically, continue to detox your life. Continue to pay attention to what you are taking in and putting out, okay? Being around, participating in, feeding energy into. Whatever you're feeding energy into is what you're going to manifest to come back to you. I hope you guys have enjoyed this reading. Be sure to like, share, comment, or subscribe to the channel. Bye!